Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, today we're just gonna go over creating the game state service, and which is basically our service that will contain and manage the state of our Simon game. Now the game of Simon is actually pretty simple if you think about it. Um, you're basically managing two lists. You're managing a Simon list, uh, which is going to be an array of strings, and we're going to set it equal to an empty array. And you're also going to manage the player string. There we go. And the goal of the game is just uh, trying to get the player to match the same list as the Simon. Uh, basically the game. So we're going to need two properties, um, the Simon and the player. And we're actually going to uh, uh, create some constants. So let's uh, make a directory in source app. And we're going to call it models. Uh, yeah, there is source app. Uh, what did I call this? Constants.ts. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Alright, it's, it's in models. Yes. Alright. So, there's a constant that we need, which is the start count. And we're going to start at 2. Um, make sure we export this. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's uh let's import that really quick from where is this dot dot slash model slash constants and we want the start count and I'm gonna be using the the normal Java constant syntax with all uppercase snake case we're also gonna have a count here of type number. And in our constructor, we're just gonna set this dot counts equals to the start count. Start count. There we go. So that basically just sets the the starting length of how how long the Simon array is. Uh, next, we actually need to generate the Simon array. So First, we're gonna make a private uh, variable called random random color, and uh, we actually want another type. So let's uh let's create an enum really quick. Uh, let's see, red, green, yellow, blue. Let's actually do this so it's in RGB um, order. Export enum colors. There we go. Okay. So an enum is basically a special type of array. So at index one, it's red, index two is green, index three is blue, and so on. And then the length of it is never going to be more than four. And here we're just gonna get a random one. So we're just gonna return um, colors at a random index. So we're just doing math math dot random. Um, was it times four? And math dot random gives us a decimal. So we're gonna math dot floor it. To make it into an integer. So, and the colors is coming from constants over here. Alright, cool. So now we are able to get a random color, and now we just need to push it onto our Simon array. So I'm just gonna call it append Simon. And we just do this dot. Mm -hmm. Simon dot push 
uh, this dot random color. And since this is a get method, we don't have to add the parentheses. Instead, it'll just treat this as a property, even though it's actually a method. Okay, so that should be right. Oh, and we also need to do the this dot count plus plus. Um. Yeah. All right. Actually, no. Yeah, that's fine. And now we need to generate Simon. So, um, what was this? We're just gonna do a simple for loop. <coughs> I equals zero. I less than counts. I plus plus. And this actually has to be this dot count because it's a property that's on the game state service. All right. So in here, we're just gonna do um, this dot append Simon, and uh, we're gonna return Simon. This dot Simon. Sorry. All right. So let's add some type safety really quick. Uh, this is gonna return a string. Uh, this is going to be a void function, doesn't return anything. And then this is going to return an array of strings, which is the this.simon. Now there is one small problem, and it's we're adding the count right here. Um, I think we will solve that by doing... Uh, Let's just do a uh, just a boolean here, and we're gonna call it increment. If increments, then then increment it. If not, then don't. I just do that, and okay. So since it's optional by default, it's going to be false. Actually, just to just to be safe, I'm going to set it to false right there. Okay. Generate Simon. The start append. All right, looks good so far, and now. We need a, uh, yeah, let's just do a restart. Restart Simon. And this is going to be a this.count is going to be resetted to the start count. And uh, we're going to return this.generate Simon. We're just going to do, we're just going to set the first two since this start count is 2 of the Simon array to random and then return the array so this is also gonna return an array of strings because it's returning this which also returns an array of strings okay uh, that's everything for Simon so let's now get to the player so, <clears throat> the player can make a guess, and each time the player guesses, we're gonna do it. We're gonna push the value onto the player array, and then we also need to do a check. So, this is gonna be a to do check. Um, just call it compare arrays and that we're gonna do it right here so compare Simon alright so how are we gonna do this um 
we're gonna start with a simple for loop. So let i equal zero, i is less than we're gonna go through the length of the player, right? So this dot player dot link and i plus plus. And what we want to do is just uh, return a boolean. No, not a blob. Boolean. There. Little boolean. All right. Um. So we're just gonna check. So this dot player at i <coughs> triple equals to this dot Simon at i um should we need to check if it's not equal this dot player if it's not equal then return false and then if it makes it through the entire array without returning false we will return true So that should work. And then now we can finally do the check. So we're just going to do it if um, this dot compare Simon. Alright, so this is true when everything is true. So I'm just going to do a if it's not true, do this. And we're going to set the player back to an empty array. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. So whenever a player makes a guess, they'll put it onto the the array, and then if it's the wrong guess, they have to do the entire sequence all over again because the player array will be emptied. There's the compare Simon, player guess, restart Simon, generate Simon, append, and then the random color using the getter method is going to give us a random color which we defined in our constants. Enum start count. Alright. And that is the basics of the Simon game state logic. It's fairly simple and it's a pretty simple application to create. Now the hard part is to actually get this to display, and we'll get to that in the next video. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.